Welcome to AminAcademy.com. In Electrical Engineering, let us discuss about capacitor and capacitance. Now, a capacitor essentially consists of two conducting surfaces separated by a layer of an insulating medium called dielectric. The conducting surfaces may be in the form of either circular or a rectangular plates or be of spherical or cylindrical shape. The purpose of capacitor is to store electrical energy by electrostatic stress in the dielectric that is word condenser is a important condenser is the name of the capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor is one plate is joined to the positive end of the supply and the other to the negative end or earth. It is experimentally found that in the presence of an earth plate B, plate A is capable of withholding more charge than when B is not there. When such a capacitor is put across a battery, there is a momentary flow of electrons from A to B. A negatively charged electrons are withdrawn from A. It becomes positive and as these electrons collect on B, it becomes negative. Hence, a PD, that is potential difference, is established between A and B. The transient flow of electrons gives rise to char charging current. The strength of the charging current is maximum when the two plates are uncharged, but it then decreases or finally ceases where PD across the plates becomes slowly and slowly equal and opposite to the battery EMF. Further, the capacitor are also known as electric condensers. The capacitor is a two terminal electric component. It has the ability or capacity to store energy in the form of electric charge. Capacitors are usually designed to enhance the increase of increase the effect of capacitors. Therefore, they take into account properties like size and shape. The storing capacity of capacitance may vary from small storage to high storage. What is capacitance? Capacitance is nothing but the ability of capacitor to store the energy in form of electric charge. In other words, the capacitance is the storing ability of a capacitor. It is measured in farads. That is C equal C equal Q over V. C equal Q over V, that is charge, charge over potential difference and is called farad. The unit is farad. <coughs> that is one, one coulomb per one volt is called one farad. Construction of capacitor. Most capacitors usually contains two electrical conductors. These conductors are separated by metallic plates. Conductors may be in the form of electrolyte, thin film, yes, <coughs> sintered bead of metal, etc. Look at this. These are parallel plate capacitors. They are aluminum foil electrodes, these two plates in between electrolytic spacer and in between the plates and the electrolytic aluminum oxide film dielectric is filled here. Now the symbol is like the capacitance, the capacitance value that is capacitor value of two different capacitors may exactly be the same and the voltage rating of the two capacitors are different. Let us take two capacitors, one which has a small voltage rating and other with high voltage rating. If we substitute a smaller rated voltage capacitor in place of higher rated voltage capacitor, the smaller capacitor 
this can happen because because something rupture will happen this can happen because of the unexpected increase in voltage the dielectric space is ruptured the common working dc voltage capacitors are usually 10 volt 16 volt 25 volts like given up to 1000 volts we can use normal capacitors <coughs> characteristics of capacitors the properties or characteristics of capacitors may differ from one another three characters six is here capacitance capacitance is the basic and important characteristics of capacitor we measure it in a picofarads that is pf nanofarads nf or microfarads micro f usually we can find this value printed on the capacitor body in the form of number or text hence we can get this value easily you can see the capacitance in the solved examples we can do in later videos. Working voltage, the total amount of direct current DC or alternating current AC is applied to a capacitor without any failure in the capacitance whole lifetime. That is called a working voltage. Working voltage defines this statement. Tolerance. What is tolerance? Just like the voltage rating, capacitors also have a tolerance rating. They vary from plus to minus some values of voltages. Leakage current. The capacitor's leakage current is the small DC current flow in the region of nano amps, that much uh, very less amps. Leakage current is a result of electrons physically making their way through the dielectric medium. It could also be the movement around its edges or across its leads. Therefore, these electrons can fully discharge the capacitor over time if you remove the supply voltage. Yeah. The nowadays the yeah, capacitor is very useful for lot of electrical appliances. The current of charge required to create a yeah, unit PD between its plate is called capacitance. We know that C equal to Q over V, that is charge per potential difference, like so far we have done about what is capacitor, capacitance and its character and supply voltage, how much we need, like uh, somewhat we discussed. In future videos, we discussed about detail about capacitor. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.